Good morning from Tuzla in northern Bosnia and Herzegovina. Now this town is famous for its salt lakes, the healing salt lakes, which I can actually see right in front of me now, but more on that later, because first we've got to go and get breakfast. Now, if you watched my last video, you might notice something different. I got my hair cut in Sarajevo before I left, so shout out to the men's room barber shop. If you're in the capital and you need a trim, go and see them, very happy with it. When we arrived last night, we brought a bottle of beer from the local brewery, Tuzlanski, and it was pretty good. And it seems the local brewery is only about 10, 15 minutes walk from the city centre, so we'll try and go down there today later as well. Food and coffee done. Let's try and get into these salt lakes. Well, it did say you're supposed to pay, was it five marks to get in? She's not listening to me. I think it's five marks each to get in. But the gates are just open and no one asked for anything, so we've walked in. Now, despite the fact it is supposed to be 25 degrees today, it is the middle of October, so I don't think the locals are too keen on uh, swimming at this point. And to be honest, I'm not sure I'd be too keen on swimming either. It looks a little bit grim in there. Uh, it looks like they basically closed everything down for the winter season. And after just saying, I don't think the locals will be up for swimming, I can see someone swimming in front of me in a different lake over there. Which looks a bit more natural than the one behind me, so just keep going and have a look. Now, it was a bit of a last minute decision to come to Tuzla. We're only here for one full day, really, so I gotta be honest. I don't know a lot of the uh, information about what's going on here. If these uh, lakes are natural or man-made or anything. So I guess I'll look it up on Wikipedia, post-production and put some information in. But Now arrived at this series of waterfalls with a little pool in it. There is actually someone swimming at the top as well. Maybe I was wrong, the locals are still swimming in mid-October. So now we've reached the top, I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised about how cool it is. And there's a bunch of people swimming down there, so I think we're going to go and explore the rest of the town, visit the brewery, and when we're done there, we'll come back for a swim. Let's go. Back out of the lakes now, with the unmanned ticket booth, and back into town. Let's go.
what we did notice last night walking around in Tuzla is that there's an abundance of pretty cool looking street art everywhere. So we try and get some of that as we walk through the town now. church bells ring out behind me to signify that it's midday I think that means it's acceptable to drink a beer so let's go and find the brewery I made it to the other side of the town a bit of a different vibe here less of the old architecture more of a new town Well, we're still looking for the brewery. There's not a lot down here other than uh, residential stuff so, and some nice shady trees. Walking down the back streets now, one last thing to see before we get to the brewery. Simply known as the Colourful Steps. Let's go and have a look. Well, the name's accurate, they're steps, and they're colourful, but there's not much else to see. So let's go and see if Tuzla can indeed organise a piss up in a brewery. Well, the answer to the question is Tuzla cannot organise a piss up in a brewery, at least on a Wednesday afternoon. They won't let us in to look around, but we are in the uh, taverna next door. I don't even know if you're going to be able to hear this because they're playing music in here, and I might have to drop the sound and put subtitles, so... Let's just get some food and a beer, and then we'll go swimming. Bit of a disappointment that we couldn't go inside the brewery. Google Maps showed a load of pictures and said it opened at 7 a.m. So we thought we might be able to get a little tour of it, but alas, we weren't able to. So after a quick beer and a pizza, we're now going to try and go for a swim. Let's go. Apparently the fountains are salt water as well, so one of my insect bites and injuries are going to be healed after this. We'll see if that's the case. Let's go in. Tuzla has been a massive surprise. The water's cold, but the swimming's good. We're going to spend the rest of the afternoon drinking beer and jumping in this freezing cold pool now. I'll check in one more time later before we leave. Thumbs up for Tuzla though. That's all from Tuzla, the Salt Lake City of Bosnia. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for more travel adventures and I'll see you in Serbia.